Welcome to the Spy Stories in 5 Minutes. Today, we delve into the life of one of history's most intriguing spies, Morris Cohen. Born in the bustling city of New York in 1910, Cohen's early life was steeped in the immigrant experience. His parents, Jewish immigrants, raised him in a working-class neighborhood, instilling in him values of hard work and resilience. While his childhood was simple, Cohen's teenage years were marked by a growing interest in politics. This led him to join the Young Communist League, a decision that would shape the course of his life. Amidst all this, Cohen did not neglect his education. He attended the City College of New York, a place that further nurtured his political ideologies. A seemingly average New Yorker, little did anyone know, Cohen's life was soon to take an exciting turn. As Cohen's political beliefs solidified, he was noticed by Soviet recruiters. It was during the tumultuous 1930s that Cohen's fervor for communism caught the eye of Soviet intelligence. Their recruitment process was as discreet as it was meticulous, and Morris was soon inducted into the fold. Parallel to this, Cohen's life took a romantic turn. He married Lona, a woman who matched his political passion. Their shared belief in the cause made them a formidable pair, not just in marriage, but also in their clandestine work. In 1935, the couple moved to the Soviet Union, the epicenter of their ideological allegiance. Here, they underwent rigorous espionage training, which honed their skills in cryptography, surveillance, and the art of blending in. The process was grueling and demanding, but the Coens were tenacious. Equipped with their new skills, the Coens were ready for their first mission. Their journey as spies had just begun setting them on a path that would etch their names in the annals of espionage history. Returning to the U.S., the Coens began their clandestine activities. Morris Cohen and his wife Lona, both dedicated communists, were no ordinary couple. Their loyalty led them down a path of secrecy, danger, and betrayal. The Coens served as couriers for the Soviet Union, an integral part of a large network of spies. They were responsible for transmitting top-secret information often risking their lives in the process. Their main task? To pass on atomic secrets that would help the Soviets keep pace with American advancements. They were deeply involved in the infamous Rosenberg spy ring. Julius and Ethel Rosenberg, close friends of the Coens, were also committed to the communist cause. Together, they formed a formidable team using their positions to infiltrate the American defense system. Morris, using his cover as a businessman, traveled extensively, meeting Soviet agents in various corners of the world. Lona, on the other hand, operated from home, using her position as a housewife to avoid suspicion. Their most significant contribution was perhaps their role in passing on atomic secrets. This information was instrumental in the Soviets' development of their nuclear arsenal during the height of the Cold War. They were able to do this through contacts within the Manhattan Project, America's top-secret atomic bomb development program. However, despite their careful operations, their activities didn't go unnoticed. The U.S. intelligence started piecing together clues, growing suspicious of the Coens. A shadow began to loom over their operations as the authorities started closing in on the Rosenberg ring. In the end, the Coens' luck ran out. Their activities would eventually catch up to them, leading to a thrilling escape. But that's a story for another day. For now, let's marvel at the audacity and dedication of these spies who risked everything for what they believed in. The Coens were finally apprehended in 1961, after years on the run. Their trial in the United Kingdom was the talk of the nation, culminating in their imprisonment. However, they were eventually exchanged for a British spy in a dramatic turn of events. Morris Cohen continued to live under the radar until his death in 1995. A life shrouded in mystery, Morris Cohen's existence was a testament to the shadowy world of espionage. A world where secrets are traded and lives hang in the balance. And that brings us to the end of Morris Cohen's spy story. From his humble beginnings, to his recruitment and rigorous training, to his daring espionage activities, and finally to his trial and death, Morris Cohen's life was nothing short of a thrilling spy novel. His contribution to espionage history is noteworthy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for future spy stories. Thank you for your support.